Okay, are you ready? Be careful. Watch watch your step. Good afternoon, fellow citizens, participants of our briefing. Today on Earth, we are greeting yet another crew that is returning from space. We are very excited to see the successful completion of uh, another expedition to the International Space Station. From the bottom of our hearts, we want to congratulate our crew members with a successful return. It is an extraordinary event. Can you hear me? So we have uh, small souvenirs here that we would like to present information on the city of Karaganda. So it's great to see such honorable guests visiting our city of Karaganda. This is um, the statue that represents statuette that represents our city. And here are the Matryoshka dolls that are personalized. And this is also a tradition that we would like to continue. It's great to see that you guys follow a very familiar path and uh, come back to our city, the city of Karaganda. 
Greetings to our cosmonauts and astronauts. Yelena Olegovna, congratulations on your successful return. Okay, guys. This time the weather was not that great, but we were very successful and had a successful landing. I think uh, this should be accompanied with a Kalashnikov machine gun and some ammunition. Okay, the best words that I heard after my first flight, when we were under the canopy of a parachute, I heard the voice of the commander of the search and rescue crew who said, guys, greetings in the clear sky, happy to see you in the clear sky of Kazakhstan. Now I have the same feeling because this is my second time here, second time returning to this airport. It's a nice morning again. I see the same people that I had an opportunity to meet last time. And so it feels very nice and familiar and it feels like I'm coming home. I know that we will always be taken care of here. So once we're back, it's very nice to be safe and secure. Thank you so much for such a good reception. First of all, I would like to thank everybody who is greeting us here at this in this wonderful country, wonderful location. We were told that the weather will be quite windy, but it's nice to be back. It's nice to smell the spring in the air. As you can imagine, we have not seen any snow this year, so it's our first time seeing the snow this year, and it looks great, and it smells great. Thank you. What was the most difficult period on orbit? I would not try to isolate one single difficult period or easy period because we were continuously working on board. It was impossible to single out one thing. Any work on board is difficult, really. But it feels like the past six months flew by and it feels like it was just a week. As though we had just gotten on board and it was time to leave already. So we were leaving with a mixed feeling because on the one hand we were excited to come back home, but on the other hand, we didn't feel that we spent enough time on orbit. Okay, we heard that Roscosmos, we heard that Roscosmos didn't want to have a female crew member on board, but you seem to have proven them wrong. No, I, I wouldn't say they didn't want anybody, any females on board. It is true that it, it had been a while since a female cosmonaut flew in space, but uh, everything can be realized in life and you can accomplish anything that you set your mind to. We were following your flight to see how you will change the work on board by being a female. For women on board, women work just as much as a man but they are still women. So we probably have our own unique view of things, but we always work together. We, for housekeeping, for example, we would get together and we would all pull our weight in cleaning the station. It was not just a responsibility delegated to a female crew member. So you can't really say it this way. What about the International Women's Day on March 8th? Did you celebrate? Uh, yes, we did, but also we celebrated uh, February 23rd, which is the Defender's Day dedicated to men.
So I got a Samantha and I got a presents bouquets from our crewmates. It was very nice. He is here. He came back with us. I can tell you for sure that there were three of us in the capsule. It's just that his uh, crew surgeons gave different recommendations to him. He w it was recommended to him that he spends more time with his medical personnel. Can you tell us about uh, some experiments or m interesting things that you did on board of the ISS? I always give the same answer to this question. Any person uh, likes to see the results of his work, and so science experiments are no different. There are certain experiments that don't require any human participation because everything is done automatically. On the other hand, there are some um, experiments that are very hands-on, such as photo imagery or video imagery, where you get to photograph everything you see from space. Have you seen any signs of extraterrestrial light, life? No, just in terms of aliens, just two women on board, and that's it. OK, Yelena, we heard that women don't like to wear the same clothes as another woman in her presence. Well, where, did the, where does this come from? <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, it's just they say that if a woman sees another woman wearing the same outfit, I think this is uh, something that men make up. It's not true. Any more questions? No? OK, well, let's uh, thank our cosmonauts and congratulate them again on the successful return. Well, on behalf of NASA, let me first of all just uh, congratulate Alexander and Lena on completing your mission, a successful mission. Before coming to this press conference, I was visiting with Barry. He's on a NASA airplane. He's doing well. Just uh, taking a little time to get adjusted to his Earth legs again. But he passes on his uh, warm wishes to Karaganda and Kazakhstan, as well as the rescue forces that have helped uh, recover the crew today. So uh, from Barry, full choice to Sipa. Thank you very much to everyone for participating. Congratulations one more time. The briefing is uh, concluded. Thank you very much. Nice to see everyone. Let's wait for Yelena Olegovna. Come here, comrade. First deputy of the State Commission reporting here on the successful return of the Soyuz crew. Crew Commander Alexander Samakutyaev. Thank you very much uh, on, for the successful return and uh, successful completion of your mission. Happy to serve. Nice to see you all. 
Let's let me give a hug to the boss. Nice to see you. Very happy to see you home. <laughs> yes, you should take off your hat. Okay, thank you so much. I couldn't have done it without you. You are a hero. We want to see the hero here. Okay, don't worry about this. Let's cry later. No need to cry, really. Let's move on to the buses. The family proceeds to the bus.